How are you guys doing? My name is Micah and this is going to be the 22nd video in this 2D iPhone game programming series. In this video we're going to cover sound effects, so we're going to make it so that every time the hero hits one of these obstacles it gives us this game over sound, and every time the hero jumps we're going to give it a, um, a cartoony game-like sound as well. So one thing before we get started is we're going to go into our app delegate class actually. We haven't used this, um, we haven't actually worked with this class yet in this tutorial, but this is something you should do in pretty much every single one of your sprite kit games. Um, this is a sprite kit error, the reason you actually have to uh, put in these two lines of code. Apple um, hopefully will update it sometime in the near future, but it's just about four lines of code you need to put in, and um, be sure they're in every single one of your games. Uh, so for what we're going to do, I'll explain exactly what it does after we type all this out. We're going to do the SK view after, actually, we import. We have to import our sprite kit framework uh, into the app delegate. So now we can do SK view view equals SK view self dot window dot root view controller dot view. And then we're going to do view dot let me check. Actually, it's the scene or it's the view we have to pause here. Let me check in um, one of my other apps here. Okay, it's the view we actually have to pause. So we're going to view.paused equals yes. Now, the reason we do this is if animations are running when you close, um, if certain animations are running when you go to the home screen, so you tap that home button on your iPhone while your game is running. Um, it might give you a memory warning which will crash your app and um, that's really no good because because if you try to submit an app that actually crashes like that to the app store, Apple will reject it and it takes about a week for apps to get approved. So um, you want to make sure this is in here and um, you should be good to go on that crash. So you kind of have to do the opposite thing here in the application will enter foreground method otherwise the view will always stay paused when you hit the home screen. So you can just copy this line of code and then just do view.paused equals no. So that should just fix a little error you guys have. Um, I believe someone left a comment around my eighth video or something um, asking about this. So if someone calls you while your game is playing, this will also fix that issue where um, it will pause your view and then you can return back to the previous state that your game was in using these four lines of code. So now we can move on to sound effects. We are going to go into our ML Hero class, and first we need to get the sound effect files. So I will link to a website called Freesound, uh, freesounds.org. It's a super nice place for getting game effect sounds. Um, some of them, some of the sounds on there are posted under the attribution license, and others under the Creative Commons license. The attribution license means you actually have to link back to their page or link back to something in your game if you want to use that sound. Creative Commons license means you can use it and you're good to go. So I'm going to link the two sound effects um, in the description below that you can download on that site. You need to create an account, I believe, to actually download them, but it is worth it. It's a great site and um, people just post their sounds on there and you can get all these sounds for free. So I have those two sounds right here. I'm going to drag them into my project and my convention for um, naming my sound files is I put this I'm just going to drag them in really fast I have this on jump and this on game over sound here that's just my convention I put the word on and then um, the condition that I'm going to be running the sound under that's just kind of um, how I started uh, naming those so that's just what I've always done you guys can do something different if you want so now we're going to go into ML hero we're already here in our jump method we're going to run an action on um, our ML hero and so we're going to do self run action sk action play sound file named um, and then we can just put on on jump make sure you put in the type um, that the sound file is so the on jump is a dot wave um, wav file so we have to put that in there um, wait for completion you can just put no this is only used when you actually put the uh, the play sound file named action in a sequence 
Um, this determines whether or not it waits till the sound is finished before it moves on to the next action. So now if we run this, let's see if my, um, you might not actually be able to hear it. Um, here, let me take these. So now you can hear that our hero is getting this little jump cartoon sound, which is exactly what we want. Hopefully the sound quality is decent. Um, I apologize if not. So now we're going to do the same thing with our game over. So we're going to close out of this, go into our my scene class, um, go down to our game over method. A shortcut for getting to different methods is this uh, little menu right here. I can, you can click it and you can see all the methods that you created. I generally use this to navigate around my classes. So click game over, it will kind of bring you down here and we can do the same thing. So we're going to do self run action, um, SK action, play sound file named on game over, this time dot mp3 because it's a different uh, sound format. Make sure you get that right or it will crash your app. And wait for completion no and then we can rerun our app. So now we have these little jump sounds and um, every time your hero hits the block it gives us a game over, um, this game over sound here. So um, I think it does it multiple times just because the hero, um, we don't actually stop the hero in its tracks when game is over. So every time he hits one of these obstacles um, that sound is going to get played. So um, that's it for sound effects, and that's it for pretty much all the functionality in our game. Um, in the next video, I might make a couple announcements and maybe do something fun. But um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed these tutorials, and I hope you learned something. So uh, again, as always, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.